What is going on people and today this particular video is a bit different and then about uh, 3 hours ago but by the time you're watching this video is around uh, 9 o'clock in Singapore and 9 third of 9 that we finally get some images of Thor Ragnarok and finally we get the f some images set photos of Thor Ragnarok and it's provided by entertainment so I'm gonna give uh, full credit for entertainment magazine for giving us uh, have a short look of what is uh, these images of Thor Ragnarok and what we can expect from the film as well and how it looks like and all this I have to give credit full credit for entertainment so now that we can start to speculate what's going on with this uh, particular storyline but but I know that what is going on but at least we get to know what uh, how does it look like so let's get on with it shall we so first of all this is the poster I mean the front cover for uh, entertainment magazine we have we can see Thor uh, Kate Blanchett and Tessa Thompson and they're all wearing very glitty based on this uh, cover and I'm really really excited because there's so much a lot to tell within this picture and first of all Thor is short hair he's no longer long hair like how we used to know Thor and this is a very big news for all of us it's, to be honest it's really really shocking maybe there's something going on with him to the point he had to cut short hair we don't know what's going on maybe Maybe because he, he went to Earth, he know the style of Earth, then he want to try something new as he always have every time he's in, he's on Earth. Maybe this time he want to cut the short hair, get in trend. I'm not too sure, but it looks, to be honest, really damn good. Secondly, you look at Thor. He's not holding any... He's not holding Mnonia, uh, the, the, the hammer of Thor, and then he's holding swords. But because I can uh, tell you that this particular uh, movie is that... Uh, Thor, he's in the Glater area, which kind of same thing, same same place that we, he were held in. Uh, Thor, I mean the World War Hulk, World War Hulk, where there's a lot of Glater going on. So I think that this is a very very similar situation, but this time it involves Thor as well, because the 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 timeline is for Thor right now. So, but in this area, we will be held in the Glater Glider, Glider Coliseum where they're gonna fight. Uh, people will, I mean this particular warriors will be fighting each other so Thor and Hulk will be one of them so I, I kind of guess that th why is Thor there because in the previous movie Doctor Strange uh, in the in the fine in the en ending credits where Thor wanted Doctor Strange help and then maybe that Thor's father Odin is help somewhere around here and Thor needs uh, needs Doctor Strange help with these kind of things because that is where Loki is hiding I'm not too sure and this is my one of my speculations was what's going on so I want to look at the other two characters Kate Blanchett in this costume to be honest it's look, it looks very very menacing it looks very very dark I think this this way she looks to be honest really really good but again Marvel has never been uh, creating a very very good uh, villain with a proper uh, with the character development as such so I don't think that we will be expecting a lot from this particular character since Marvel do a, did a lot of stuff like that but to be honest I think that she looks menacing and she looks really good to be honest but to the point it gives some a bit of feeling that she looks like uh, the, the, the character in Power Rangers where Elizabeth Bank is playing the I forgot the, the character's name but she looked quite similar literally to the Nazi sister I don't I don't really read comic books but I do know the general uh, characters of I do know the general general characters the more famous characters of them but I don't know what Clay Benjamin is playing but it looks very very interesting well for the character of Teresa Thompson she looks like a gladiator she looks like a fierce uh, warrior but she maybe she looks way too humanish I can say that later I'll be covering what's going on. She looked a bit way too human rich in this another universe place, but think about it. I mean most of the uh, Marvel characters they all they all look very very humanish. Like, again, you see look at the uh, description it says new planets, so we can confirm that it's another planet, new villains as always, new weapons like Thor is it's not even holding his mononia, the new hair. That's what I just said. So let's get on to the next picture. Okay, the second picture is showing that Thor is really in a in a gladiator soul looking very fierce but to the point he doesn't 
To be honest, it doesn't feel like a, a Thor movie. It felt like a remake of the Ridley Scott Glider movie starring Chris Hemworth. That is how I feel. But we know that this is a Thor movie because you look at the weapons that he's holding. He's holding a freaking shield. He's wearing Glider armor. Maybe to the point that maybe he's covering. I'm just saying that maybe he's covering that he's not... Uh, trying to reveal that he's Thor, but he's trying to do something different. That is what I think is supposed to be. And then maybe later on, he's going to be a Thor. I, I'm not too sure about this situation. Maybe he's captured because based on the World War Hulk, uh, the that series is that uh, this one particular people, they are capturing these heroes and warriors and then they fight in the Coliseum. Then they are forced to fight with one another. So this was called Benning, but I don't know what is Thor's purpose. Maybe... He is disguising himself as a warrior to find his father Odin. So with this picture is that uh, Chris Hamworth, Thor and Tisa Thompson are discussing tactics. I'm not too sure because you look at the background, there's, there's like a table and some books and then the background looks very, very futuristic background as in like it's a center of some sort and wow i'm not i can't really make out out of this but it felt like they are having a discussion but this moment really felt like they just finished a one i mean a free for all kind of battle where one or one one to one fight each other and then whoever are the last standing will be going to the next round and this is the discussion room for the next round that is what i get particularly from this picture yeah they all look very very glad clarity still nothing much to talk about from this since i already covered in the uh, uh, main cover of the entertainment magazine okay this looks very very interesting so like i said in my magazine you look at loki the way he sits where he is sitting he looks like he's sitting you look he's sitting on a sofa holding a glass like he's he felt like he's being entertained there are some girls uh other people around so that's why that is what i guess is what's going on like i said thor is asking dr strange help to find loki who is uh he will kidnap his father yet yeah, he is in a coliseum where gladiator fights so i think that he is in the in the judge seat or the guest seat something like this you he felt very very relaxed very very toned down that he's he felt entertained so i think he's trying to hide from uh thor something like that then, then you, you look at this picture then you, he, he doesn't feel very very venus venus i really really doubt that he is one of the uh, warriors participating in those fights not really participating forced to participate in those fights within the coliseum because he is one of the judge that is what i can think of right now with this picture but to be honest th particularly this picture it looks very very colorful the costume design you can see that how much effort they put in then you don't you look at uh loki's attire that it, it doesn't feel very greenish like he wore previously he felt he looks very very chill black yellow attire and the costume design is very good mostly leather i can say that but i don't think that loki is revealing himself as the loki that we know of maybe some sort of he still reveals that he's Loki, but not the Loki we know, so he won't be showing a lot of, a lot of his trickstery as such, but look at that. Then there are other people as well, but still, the whole the, the whole cast look way too humanish. Okay, this image really excites me a lot. You look at how excited Chris Hemworth is with uh, Hulk, because we already know that the Hulk played by Mark Ruffalo in this film, that we are going to get Hulk in this rock, the Thor Ragnarok rock. So we can confirm that this will be, maybe this will be the sequel, uh, this will be the prequel of the World War Hulk that we will be getting in the future. I mean, okay, there are few questions that I'm really really questioning thing, what is going on. I know that they are very happy happy to see each other, but my I think that Hulk will be coming, uh, Hulk will come to the film later, later on instead of in the beginning but i can say that like I said, in this is like in the middle of the movie already where uh, thor is very very happy to see mark ruffalo in the house and then maybe they want to help each other or get help of, of some sort but i my question the first question is that why is mark ruffalo in this scenario look look at what you see where he's wearing very very nicely he doesn't have torn shirt or whatever maybe he's already settled down after the age of ultron because in the age of ultron where hulk was sitting in the queen jet flying off from the avengers maybe he want to get some quiet time or whatsoever but you look at he he felt very calm he has a nice haircut shaved he's wearing spec he's wearing a very nice attire suits and whatsoever my second is second question is that since he's already settled down then what makes him to be here I can speculate is that all I can speculate is that maybe uh Thor asked Doctor Strange 
to uh, get someone powerful, maybe the Hulk, to help Thor. And that is what I can get. So that is why Doctor Strange teleported or sent Hulk here to help Thor. That is what I can think of. But so because this is a Coliseum and a lot of gladiators, gladiators going on, so which will lead to World War Hulk, where World War Hulk we have a lot of gladiators and stuff, so that Hulk will be permanent Hulk and he will be the king of the world, uh, ruling the Coliseum. So that is what I'm getting, getting from here. Let's go on to the next image. But still, this image looks very, very colorful. You look at all the colors, it's way too vibrant, very, very colorful. It feels very, very rainbow. It's way too rich, to be honest. Okay, this image really excites me a lot. In the pre, in the magazine, like just now, the, the main color of the magazine where Kate Blanchett is wearing very, very greenish. But here she's wearing very black. And she looks very menacing. To the point you look at this image, you know that she's gonna play the villain of the film. Which what intrigues me is that she looked very dark. I mean, her makeup, her hair coloring, her attire, so black to the point that I want it inter make me interested about this. Make me felt interesting, interested about this character. Is in like what's her power, what's her role, what her, what is her purpose in the film? But as we always get from Marvel, Marvel universe that they always play a small role. They don't have a much uh, character development with them. It's gonna be bland. You look at Thor's or almost every or other villain other than Loki that Thor's villain are never that strong particularly that dark elf from Thor the dark well there's no development from that character other than playing the infinity stone as well but uh, but in this move in this particular movie I thought that uh, right, uh, Thanos is going to get the gems I mean the infinity stone from this movie so that he can complete some of the stones I'm just guessing but we don't know what's going on but what we know that is going to be a, a gladiator movie for Thor and Hulk. But with this picture, I want to know that what is Clay Blanchett's uh, purpose in this film? Is she going to be one of those gladiators or is she one of the uh, the people who will be who will be watching the gladiator then she'll pick some of the stronger warriors to fight for her alongside of her? There are a few questions that I'm really interested to see what is her purpose in this particular role. But the way it looks like she's very very vanilla. I, mean, I can't wait to see what he is around. Besides, Clay Blanchett has always been one of the greatest actress of our time right now. Let's go on to the next image. Okay, we see that uh, Thompson, she's sitting down in a bar drinking, but it felt like this is, this particular scene, it felt like the beginning of the film where she's just, where she saw, you look at where, where she's looking, it's gotta be tall. It's gotta be really tall. So she met Thor, she maybe join up, then fight in the Coliseum. But you look at the surrounding, she is in a bar drinking, and then you look at all those warriors, quite colorful to be honest, quite colorful to be honest. Oh, look at all those warriors. There's a red guy, there's a blue guy, there's a green guy. They all wear very, very formally to the point they are part of a soldier. They are all drinking like Japanese wine. <laughs> I'm not too sure, but and then there's a yellow one. I just knew, I just realized that. So they all very, they it felt like a soldier. Somehow they felt like a very futuristic samurai. But still, I still don't like the fact that they all look like human. I'm just saying. But this image doesn't. This image, it, even though it's, it looks very interesting to be honest, but it felt like a cosplayer people drinking in a bar. That is how I felt from this image because it, all of them look way too human humanish. To me, but it's still, it's a very. It felt like they put a lot of thoughts and a lot of money, particularly in this image. Okay, this image, wow, Jeff Goldblum. When they started announce that Jeff Goldblum will be in Thor and I could not imagine what Jeff Goldblum will be playing. And turns out he is playing the mastermind. So he, I can say that he, because I don't really know much about comic books. Please forgive me, but based on the image, I think that he looks, he looks very, very wise. He looks like very menacing as well he looks very masterful to the point we know that he will be like one of those guys that he will be controlling the the museum controlling the spectation and everything he's like the main boss guy but he won't be the main villain Kate Badger will be the main villain he will be playing a smaller role but considered a very important role I can say but he won't be playing a very as important as possible so I think that Thor will be going to his uh place then ask him to do uh ask him for information and stuff then he will he will be denying it saying no such thing then loki will be stand, uh sitting next to him observing all the fights within the coliseum so that is what i think what's going on but still the costume design the gold trim the clothing the the makeup wow to be, to be honest it looks really really good but still it looks very humanish let's go on to the next image Okay, I want to say that this image looks a bit interesting because this image is really behind the scenes that this is the director. 
because I really do not know who the director is, but it really intrigues me to see the director. What really uh, makes me interest, uh, what makes me, this image looks really, really cool is that not a lot of directors wearing this kind of attire to a shoot or to a production because you look at it, it looks like a very tough, he's wearing a f suit coat, even tied to a production and then he's holding a piece of paper and maybe a script or something or notes or whatsoever but he he is the director i can confirm that his his name is uh taika wa uh, ytt i'm sorry the, if i butcher the name but he looks very uh, way too appropriate for a production set maybe i'm just saying maybe he is playing a part in this film i'm just saying he is playing a part in this film so that's why this uh, in this particular image it looks a bit weird to me because you look at what he is doing there are two scenarios maybe okay, as a director he's giving direction to both actors or is what, what is the next thing what is going on maybe give some that direction secondly maybe he is one of uh one of those guys i mean particularly in the story he is one of those guys giving him direction as in this uh for the next f for the next fight in the coliseum that is what i think either one of the, the two scenarios though, but still he's wearing way too appropriate or way too nicely for a movie set so uh, this is what i can cover from this particular uh, from these few images released by entertainment weekly so i am still giving a full credit thank you entertainment weekly for giving all us all this image for us to speculate what is going on and how it looks like to be honest i'm i'm really really excited for thor right around because i wasn't uh very very excited for thor right around, but with these few images it looks really really good i want to thank you entertainment weekly and tell me what you guys what you guys think about this uh, thor narrow images and let me me know down in the comment down below and yeah, subscribe to my channel to see more other videos that i made and speculate and then there will be a lot of speculation for thor ragnarok to be honest i'm really really excited and i'll see you all next time